Howdy, folks. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, so I guess uh, Ida was pretty rough. Uh, I don't know any numbers. Like I, I always, I come unprepared. I apologize. Hi, Nashville. Uh, I apologize for not being prepared. Uh, that's that's Shani's ex, Blue, Christopher D. Uh, Chafee the Odd. There you go. It's Shani's ex, Chris. So, Ida, Shani, do you know anything about Ida? Did you see anything? Like, was it bad in Louisiana? I don't know. You don't know? You didn't see it? Okay, well, our uh, gig... Oh my God! All right, I'm ignoring that because I'll never be get started with nothing if I pay attention to the peanut gallery, the peanut gallery, folks. You know, I just can't do it today. I, I've had kind of, I have had a blessed day, extremely blessed by the kindness of others and family. Uh, praise Jesus. Okay, so here we go. We're talking about Shani's ex-husband. His name is Christopher. Uh, D, I, I, you know, I respect everybody, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, his name is known, but on, on YouTube, he, he was known as Chafee the Odd. Chafee with an eight in there. So I, a pretty, that's a pretty cool username. You know, I like his username was neat to me. Anyway, uh, whew. Okay. This is probably the first time I've been nervous in a while because this is very near and dear to my heart subject which pertains to my wife who I love dearly, okay? And there's a whole bunch of lies out there about how we met and, and how it all started and all that and they try to make it adultery and it never was. It's very filthy, disgusting. It's, it's, what, it's what the heathen do when they rage against Christians and they twist things and they make your life seem to be lasciviousness and, and, and uh, horribleness and make you out to be horrible people. Uh, this is called libel slander and, and it's, it's a law, it's something that's not supposed to happen in this country. Thank you very much. Uh, so here's, here's the thing. Uh, Chris claims to be a believer in Jesus Christ. So what I need to do to him as, as a brother of the faith is to tell him that he has severely he he has severe offense on his ex-wife and her two children me as a real christian uh a real believer in the word and a real believer in his ways that i must come to you with the legal document that is the bible uh the binding agreement between god and mankind uh to to guide us through to what amounts to universal salvation at the end, of course, uh, with a new heaven, new earth amazingness, okay? So I'm coming to him as a brother and telling him that he has severe, not just offense, folks, okay? He has severe offense against his ex-family, okay? What I'm requesting of, of Christopher Dornbush, I'll say the name, you know, because I, it is what it is, okay? This, his name's out there. So I'm saying to Mr. Chris D that you need to, as a Christian man, if that's what you are, are you Chris? Are you, an, are you a legit Christian? That's my question. I, I, I do have to... Now look, brother, I would never talk to you like that before this happened with Shannon, okay? Because I really felt the uh, Holy Spirit speak through you when you would speak on the Bible, okay? So I'm coming to you as, as a brother, too. But, uh, a brother that, I, that, that, that Shannon has massive uh, ought with. And that's what I'm here to do. The, this is what the Christian thing says to do, Christopher, Okay? And I'm not trying to talk down to you uh, or anything like that, okay? You got your own own, own mind and, and, and you have your own whatever, okay? You have your own stuff just like everybody else, okay? 
I ain't perfect, you know. You know, you ain't perfect. It, nobody's got got the perfection, uh, fucking seal of approval on their forehead while they're smoking cigarettes. You know what I mean? That's the deal. Okay, we all screw up and and have moments. But anyway, okay. You you and I both know. You and I both know that lies have been said a lot. Okay. And it would have been really good, and, and from what I've heard, you were pretty truthful about Shani that she's a good wife and all that, and that's great that you've been honest from what I've heard. Uh, but moving on from that, you know that this did not, this was not adultery. There was no adultery, but you may have been believing lies that were told to you. But moving on from that, because that's all in the past and it don't really matter anymore, and I'm just going to wrap up this video. Because if you have a channel or whatever, you're, you're not going to be banned. You can you could post the you say, hey Rev, here's the channel, whatever. You know, R respond to this. I just as a guy, as a Christian, you know. Jesus said that when you have ought with your brother, you must come to them with with an open heart of forgiveness and to rectify the situation. You need to apologize to Shannon for the way you left her family. That is my request to you, and if you want to make an one apology video to Shannon, I, 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 I think that would be absolutely welcomed by the Holy Spirit and the church. Good night, folks. Good night and good luck. That's awesome. <laughs>